What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Finally able to work on the truck again, so I'm pretty excited. It's a beautiful day here in California. We've been pretty busy on the ranch the last few weeks, so we haven't been able to make any progress on the truck, but uh, yeah, it's finally, finally got some free time, so we're going to get going on the truck again. So let's go. So this is how the truck sat the last few weeks. And we finally picked up uh, the front axle for the truck. So we're going to start swapping that out. But another thing that we ran into is this engine is sat too low in the frame because how we're going to be lowering the truck is we're going to be taking the axle and we're going to be putting it on top of the leaf springs so that sitting between here and if we do that we notice that the oil pan is sitting too low so so it's there below the this is the frame here so we need to move the engine up a few inches so how we're going to do that is all we got to do is drill new holes where the this is the engine cradle this is where it's mounted to all we have to do is drill new holes in this move it up and then in the rear, I don't know if we build that. Yeah, it's kind of hard to get to. We're just going to do spacers in the rear to move that up the mount that we need. That way we don't have to drill in the holes for the rear mounts because those were a pain. So, yeah, here we're just putting our hook on the front motor and we're going to be using the big crane over here to lift up the motor to pull the cradle out and yeah should be able to pull that cradle out and drain the hole so that's what we're going to be doing So we just undid the front bolts on the leaf springs and then we're going to undo one of those two shackle bolts, hopefully the top one, but whichever one will come loose probably because we've noticed that when you have a 50 year old truck, some of those bolts don't like to come loose, but yeah, we'll it out and then once we get that whole leaf leaf and axle system out then we can start pulling this bracket which is more rivets which sucks but uh, we're probably gonna have to drill them out since we don't have a lot of room because we don't really want to pull the cabin and everything we don't have to but we'll see whatever it takes to get them out so yeah that's where we're at and that's our game plan so let's get her done
front axle off. That's first time that's been off so far. It's kind of cool. Now we just need to remove these mounts, which is going to suck. Each one's held on by three rivets, and there's not really a good way to grind them off. There's not room really anywhere. This side's a little better. Just because the starter's not in the way, but it's still tight down there. So, probably have to. I think we can get to these back too with the grinder. But this front one, we might have to use the die grinder. So yeah, more rivets. Probably won't film that because we have a lot of footage of rivets. Well, let you know when we're done. Might be a couple hours. <laughs>
Whoa, Ryder, you make it look so easy. Okay, go ahead and do it again. Good work, dude. Whoa, Ryder, you're lifting up it's the back of that it. engine. Twisting it? Yeah. It's not lifting it up straight. That doesn't surprise me. I just keep going until... Whoa, Ryder, look at that. Impressive. Or impressive. All right, hold up there. That yeah, looks good. Right. Good job, dude. Thanks for your help. That was awesome. Was that fun? Uh-huh. What year is that engine in here? 93. So, we figured that we raised it an inch and a half because here is where the old bolt was mounted for the bottom and now that it's up here it we measured that distance and that gave us an inch and a half and even though it's pushed back like an inch what we're gonna do instead of drilling new holes into this for everything all we're gonna do is just drill holes into the frame wherever these line up, these two holes. And that's a lot easier than taking everything apart again and drilling new holes. So, yeah, that's what we're at. We're going to be for the back there, right there. That's the rear engine mount. We have it jacked up to where it needs to be so that um, one thing to remember that when you're mounting these engines always make sure that the bottom of the oil pan is level because that tells you what's level or not because if you look up here it looks like it's not level because it isn't but the bottom of the oil pan is level so that's just the way they design these engines to sit. So that's just something to remember if you, you are ever mounting one of these in a doing a swap. So yeah, right now we're going to be we're just gonna be using pieces of two by four because they're an inch and a half and that'll be the good spacing for us. We're just gonna throw those in the rear mounts for now. And then when we do final assembly, we'll buy metal spacers so that it's, they're good and strong but for now just the wooden 2x4 will work for now and that'll allow us to sit where it's supposed to so yeah that's what we're going to do now and then we can set it all down and drill the fronts and then we're done raising the engine went pretty smoothly I was worried we were going to have to remove the cab and everything but it went pretty good, so yeah, let's get that done, finish up. she's gonna sit raise it up an inch and a half and really all we have left are to drill new holes for this so we're gonna squeeze top of the frame together since it kind of once you pull that out it kind of bows out just it, the way it naturally wants to sit Look back there, right there, you can see our 2x4 holding up the back. Again, that's just temporary. When we go for final assembly, we'll have a metal spacer for that. No, I think wood's sweet, it goes old school. Yeah, wooden, yeah. old school. 
So, yeah, let's squeeze it, drill it, and we'll be done. Well guys, I think that's a wrap for today. I'm happy with the progress that we made. We might have worked all day and we're just able to raise the engine an inch and a half. That doesn't, that doesn't sound like much, but it's enough to make it work. So you do what you gotta do. Now we just need some more money to buy a clutch so that we can install a transmission. We're just gonna have to sell some stuff around the ranch so that we can afford that. And yeah, so thank you all for watching. And if you haven't subscribed yet, do so. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And don't forget to tell your friends about it. Share the video if you'd like. And we'll catch you up on, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.